Now on to a central Pennsylvania farmer and his family who are dealing with a major loss tonight. Fire hit a historic barn on their sprawling farm around 2 this morning in Snyder County. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Osbiot fills us in on the fierce fire and the impact on the family. These pictures of firefighters battling massive flames and smoke show a glimpse of the nightmare Jeremy Reese and his family faced early Saturday morning. Their barn now burned to the ground. It's a deep ache. You know, my son said, Dad, the barn's on fire. And we ran out of the dorm and just that, just that emotional, your chest. The family tried to put out the raging fire, but when they realized it was too big, they let the cattle out. We didn't know exactly where they were, thought we were going to have a rodeo around up when daylight arrived. Fortunately, Reese's neighbor took in the cattle while Reese and firefighters faced the flames. An excavator was sent there in the middle of the night to knock down the barn to gain the upper hand, but the hay inside created a major challenge. We got the fire under control by tearing apart the hay that continued to ignite. The Reese family tell me that emergency responders spent about six hours on the scene, and even by midday, there are still some hot spots with smoke. The historic barn is a total loss, but their livestock isn't. And Reese was reality, able to save his nine Jersey that. heifers yeah. and their Project equipment, Jersey. but about 20 laying hens were killed in the fire. We did what we could, but you know when you have that kind of, of, of flame um, structure, the proportion it was, that, that there's, you know, in a tender box in a, in a dry environment, it, it's, it's gone. Reese has another job and considers his livestock a secondary source of income. Although he cannot restore this historic barn, Reese hopes to put another structure in its place and keep what he calls his hobby farm going. In Franklin Township, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. The barn was more than 100 years old. The cause of the fire is still unknown this hour. A state police fire marshal is investigating.